Bobby, this tea is absolutely scrumptious. Exquisite. Yes. Oh, we didn't see you there. Hmm. Welcome to Marketing and Tea Time with Robbie and Danny. Hmm. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that shit. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to let's, let's get to work. Let's cut through the chase. Let's cut through, let's cut through the bullshit. Yeah, hey. hello. Hey, guys. We're doing marketing. I'm here with Danny. Yeah. And we're doing marketing. Marketing. Get down. Get down. Get down. Put that cookie down. <laughs> Get out of the chopper and put the cookie down. Quick, let's go, he's going to steal all of our cookies. Maybe, maybe we'll use this opportunity to talk about uh, something I noticed that you're very good at. Uh, how do you make videos and content more entertaining and, and authentic? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you want to know something funny? I made a video last night. Here's <laughs> I'm turning funny... into Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, <laughs> no, because you're not shirtless and I'm not wearing a suit. Dude, you're right. This is not... Oh, in the sh middle. wow. <laughs> Honestly, I was even thinking of wearing a bow tie to this thing. That's the truth. I wanted like Robbie to feel like so, more in so, place. So, Danny, how do you bring more authenticity and fun? And I will tell you exactly how. I will tell you. I will tell videos you. Videos and conversations with women. Robbie, I would, I would, I would love to answer this question, my friend. Okay, so yeah. it's actually really simple. Last night, I sat down to make a video, and I even wrote down exactly what I was going to talk about. But then, when the camera flipped on, the words that came out of my mouth were actually what I was really feeling which what I was really feeling was I didn't feel like making a video. And the video was about how to make a video even when you're not feeling like making a video. So the point is, literally verbalize exactly what you're feeling at that exact moment. Uh, for the sake of example, I have students uh, in, you know, for dating who like they say, I want to go talk to that girl, but I don't have the motivation. So I said to her, so I said to them, so tell her that. Go up to her and say, hi, I'm attracted to you, but I just don't have the motivation to talk to you. Probably because I've been treated really meanly by girls in the past and it's affecting me right now. Okay, now, Usually when you're that authentic, some people can't handle that level of authenticity, all right? Some people might just look at you like you're retarded. Some might laugh because it's just so real, and yeah. some might really admire you for it. But the point is, it's not a trick that's supposed to work. It's supposed to just be you being very comfortable in your own skin. And when you're very comfortable in your own skin, you'll attract the right people to you. So, so I often uh, want to make videos, because yes. I, I make videos like every day. And uh, so when I make stories, it's really like fun and like uh, you're in the but, moment, yeah. Yeah, but when I make like a content video about Dude. something, sometimes I just sit and I'm like, I have no idea what I want to talk about. Like, and I'm just yeah. coming up with something, and I I talk about a subject, and I feel like I'm I'm not coming for a very authentic place. I'm just picking a topic and talk talking about it. So how would you recommend like like you're in my situation, you? Because you can't make a video every day about not wanting to make a video. No, of course not. <laughs> you know? No, of course not. So first, of, well, first of all, like the reason why, that's why Gary Vee says document, don't create. Yeah. You know, because when you're documenting, you are in the moment. But Gary Vee has a staff of like 10 people filming him at all times. So, yeah, yeah. You know, there is, there, there is that little effect. But uh, the, truth, the, the truth is, I also haven't fully mastered this. Um, sometimes when I go in front of the camera, like the truth is, is that I'll, 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 I'll look at myself once and I'll say, I'm going to do it again. And the point is, if you write down basic bullet points of what you want to talk about, and you say it a few times, uh, this, it takes a bit of work, actually. Usually on one take, it's it's, it's not going to come out right. At least that, that's what I so, see for myself. So, but I noticed with you, like, I watched your video that we did together, and I noticed that, like, you really look effortless. Like, you just sit there and... Which video? Uh, the, the coffee one. Ah, because, so you know what that was? Ah, ah, ooh, good point. So what is that for me? Like when I have to feel, when I feel like I have to do a monologue in front of the camera, it sometimes stresses me out. When I feel like I'm having a back and forth conversation, it actually feels much more natural. Like, like just like right now. Yeah, so that's your tip is that if you're alone, just have a back and forth conversation with yourself. That's exactly what I'm saying. Just talk to yourself. You know, like a crazy person. No, but what I'm saying is that, guys, if you're not used to making video, then then you have to give yourself uh, little things to leverage and help you out. Sometimes it's saying whatever's on your mind, like with the stories, just get used to documenting. Other times it's like me and Robbie right now, we're doing this thing where I think we both feel a bit more comfortable when there's another person who can jump in there in case you don't know what to say. And also just like a conversation just feels more natural. Ah, yeah, yeah, ah, ah, and of course, true. and of course, oh, one last thing, of course, just get used to speaking in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. That's it, you don't have to post it anywhere. Just talk in front of the camera. Just get used to like like going blah 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 blah. Yeah, in I front think of the camera. I think my my tip for that would be like a, an online marketer guy that I took pictures with a few days ago. He wanted to upload it, our pictures, and he was like, "Dude, do I have your permission to upload this pic?" Mm -hmm. And I just told him like the answer is always yes. Like it doesn't matter how bad the picture is. Yeah. I'd rather have a bad picture of me than not have a picture. 
Um, so you, you know what so else I like? Love it's, 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 yeah. You can have a bad video, it's better, infinitely better than somebody not knowing you at all. So where I'm coming from, wait, 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 what do you say, you know, you, know, you know where that struck me? That struck me as, as like, if I don't want something to go up, it means that a part of me inside is embarrassed. One of the ways to get over that embarrassment is actually uploading it, or the same thing with like a guy who's afraid to pro approach a girl. The, the, the best way to get to get over that approach anxiety is to just approach. Yeah. Um, and so basically, if you're embarrassed about a picture, upload it, just upload, 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 and little by little, you'll see that you're not gonna die, everything's gonna be okay. The entire, all, all of Facebook is not gonna be like, oh, that's such a weird picture, look at him, let's, let's not talk to him anymore. No, even, even more than that, I'm saying that yeah. you cannot hurt yourself by uploading content. Like, no matter if it's bad content, like, like a client of mine that I did a video with, and uh, he, he talked to me this morning, and we uploaded a post about it, and we said, if you wanna see the video, just uh, message me or something. And like 20, 30 people messaged us, and the video was really bad, because mm -hmm. you can barely hear what he's saying, and it's not very well shot. Mm -hmm. But, and he's like, dude, it's, uh, you know, it wasn't a good video, and, and people are saying that it wasn't very good. So I explained to him, like, we're living in an age where if you don't like something, you just click it off. Like, it's so, yeah, it's so easy. And, um, and nobody remembers that. Like, like, you could upload a bad video today, and then tomorrow upload a good video. Nobody remembers, like, even the great videos. Like, nobody remembers Not for a long time, anything. anyways. Yeah. No, not for a long time. Like, it's funny. I, I click the yeah. save function on a bunch of videos that I like. I never rewatched them. Yeah, yeah, never. <laughs> never. never. Like, Facebook's like, hey, you forgot those videos. Like, exactly. It's like, you have, you have 10 unopened <laughs> saves, and I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, it's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but also, let's just take also, you know, you know Logan Paul? Mm -hmm. Let's take Logan Paul for example. He shot the whole suicide thing, and, and the yeah. entire community went nuts. And, and YouTube removed him from like their ads, I, I, all sorts of stuff like that. But he actually became bigger than ever because people were wondering who is this guy. And then he did a whole like like 180 where he's apologizing and, he, and he's helping out people who have suicide issues. And, and now he's bigger than ever because of it. <laughs> like no, it, you know it's true. Like like, like yeah. there, there is like you said there is no bad press. Like if if, if you can turn it into your favor, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you need, uh, it's not even about charisma, it's just about being creative. And, Always, and, uh, and, and, let's, and let's be honest, I mean, a lot of us, we, we wanna be lazy, we wanna just not do anything, but, but being creative, that's the spice of life, it really is, like it's, it means you're alive. Yeah, so that was our video for today. Uh, yeah, yeah, check us out later, Sub exactly. Subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> or we, we would pump you. Yeah, yeah, follow me on YouTube and <laughs> Facebook. Yeah, and <laughs> you sound like Grover, what is that? Like, follow me on YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> Oh, 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 or like, oh, oh, dude, it's like Yoda. YouTube unfollow you, with <laughs> Which is funny because like what happened was we thought we thought that Yoda actually was like <laughs> was like deep and, and like a Jedi, but he was actually just dyslexic because that's why he kept saying stuff backwards. <laughs> come yeah. to my seminar. Come to my seminar. <laughs> seminar, come you will. Yeah. So, so thanks for watching and Thank do you. do subscribe and check out Danny in the link below.